Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Cobrons Gaming here. This time, I'm bringing you a Euro Truck Simulator 2 video. Uh, yeah, I'm not playing LCP as far as actually a different type of video. I'm playing Euro Truck Simulator today. And, uh, so yeah, I figured I'd probably change it up a little bit and, uh, play a different game today. So, first off, uh, I'm gonna talk about my truck. I got a, uh, Scandinavia truck, a couple upgrades, fire, uh, on here and stuff like that. Uh, I do have mods and stuff for it, but I don't use them anymore because I play multiplayer and the multiplayer is to support your mods that you're playing games, so there's really no point in having them anymore. Uh, I used to have a uh, W900 Kenworth. That was That's what this, uh, what this truck actually is with the mod in, but uh, decided to take them out. Anyway, so today we'll have a load going to Dijon, coming from Bern. Gonna be carrying tomatoes, 17 tons. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and head out on the road. We got three quarters of a tank. That should definitely get us there and even to another place if we needed to. So uh, yeah, right now it's actually uh, four o'clock in the morning. Five, almost five o'clock in the morning now. So uh, I pretty much should be in bed already. But so if I say anything crazy or do anything crazy, that's pretty much going to be my excuse for today. It's because I'm recording a video at four o'clock in the morning. But uh, I already know that this video either people are going to tell me, "Oh wow, you're actually playing a different game," or get some type of comment in that nature. But uh, yeah, I've been playing Euro Truck Simulator now for a while. I actually had this game um, almost since the day it came out about a year ago. I think year and two, almost two years ago. So I uh, I've been a Euro Truck Simulator player for a while. What I before I actually got my gaming computer, I just played it on my laptop. So and it actually ran pretty fine on that. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and drive as realistic as possible today. I'm gonna try not to break any laws or drive any, try aggressively or anything like that. And try to make it as realistic as possible. And uh, probably be talking a little bit through the video just to pass by the time. So, because I know sometimes you can just sit here and just watch the game and me not talking and make it boring for you guys. So, I figured I'd probably talk a little bit. Oh, wow, this truck actually has a uh, navigation system in it. Also, guys, I don't know if you realize, but I have a uh, new channel trailer now. If you guys want to, you can go ahead and check that out. Update, uploaded that not too long ago. Maybe about, well, once the video comes out, it'll be about a day or so since I uploaded it. But, you know, let me know what you think about it. Go ahead and hit that like button on that video. Be greatly appreciated. Not and I could go over the speed limit. I'm so used to doing like 50 miles per hour even on city streets, but we're actually gonna follow the law today. Plus, you never know where a speed camera's at, so. Shouldn't know this is gonna happen. He waits until the light turns red to actually turn. Reminds me of GTA 4 drivers. This truck has 700 and some horsepower, so I doubt that this truck have any problem getting up any type of hills that it comes against hope it doesn't so I had this one truck where I would drop down about 35 miles per hour just because I had a heavy load going up the hill and this is really not that heavy it's like 40 almost 40,000 pounds 17 tons yeah I'm almost 4,000 pounds so not too heavy
I'll just let you guys know, uh, not playing with a controller. I do play SCP if I were a controller, but I'm not playing this with a controller. There's no sense to play this in a controller. Either you play with the keyboard or you play with a wheel. Either one of those two. But, uh, I am using sequential gear box. If you guys already tell, there's no D1 or D2 over there in my information center. So I do uh, shift my gears manually. Now, as a matter of fact, we were talking about speeding earlier. <clears throat> I guess this would be a good time to uh, tell a little short story about how I actually got my speeding ticket, my first speeding ticket. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. It was probably actually maybe about three, four months ago, maybe at the most. But uh, pretty much, I was out past curfew because in the state of Georgia, if uh, at the time, if you're under the age of 17, or if you have a certain class license, you can't be driving past. Uh, Oh, 12 o'clock midnight. So it was like 12, maybe to tell you the truth, maybe about 12 15, 12 20 at the latest. And uh, I was uh, driving one of my friends home from this bowling alley slash arcade place. And uh, my mom had texted me telling me to hurry up and get home um, or I'll get in trouble. So. I decided, you know, I don't want to get in trouble because then she'll probably take the car away. So, pretty much, let's just say that I went about 50 55 inside of a 35 mile per hour zone. And what made me so mad about this speeding ticket was that it was the only car in my city that had the uh, front facing radars on their cars to where they can clock your speed. And it was one of the highway patrol units. I don't know why he was out in the regular streets should have been out on the highway but uh anyway yeah so I speed by him and I actually see him and I'm like oh yeah I'm done and then what made it so ironic too is because I'm in the car with a whole bunch of with nothing but police explorers because I'm also a police explorer if I haven't told you guys and one of my friends was like well surprise there's no uh, Sierra units down here which is the south units because I was on the south end of my city and right when he said that that highway patrol officer just came out of nowhere and I look in my rear view mirror and I see him turn around and then he pulls me over. I panicked so hard I didn't even mention I was a police explorer or anything. I didn't know the officer. All of us in there are police explorers. None of us even tried to mention that we're police explorers because that's how scary we were. So uh, out, of that speeding, out of that pullover I wound up getting two tickets. One for violating my permit and one for uh, the speeding ticket. So. So even though you're a police explorer, yeah, you can get out of it, but sometimes you just police force and get tickets also. But I learned one lesson. Let the officer know I'm a police explorer. That way I don't get the ticket. I don't know why my game is like getting being really laggy for some reason. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much how I got my first speed ticket. The fine was a hundred and hundred dollars. It was reduced from 150 to 100, so I guess they tell me out a little bit, but not too much. Also, the ironic, uh, ironic thing about that also too is, well, about two weeks later, we did a road safety check or a DUI checkpoint where the officer was on, and he uh, recognized me and asked if he had pulled me over not too long ago, and I told him, yeah, and he said that I should have said I was a police explorer, which made me even more mad because I still had to pay 100 dollars. But you know, it is what it is. So, since I guess if you bring up that speeding thing earlier, it kind of made me think about my me getting my first speeding ticket. Good thing is, though, the speeding ticket didn't go on my license. It's not going to show up on insurance or anything like that. So, pretty much like I never really got it, but I still got it. Like, it's still deep in my record or whatever you want to call it. Alright. Why are these people going so freaking slow the speed limit is a lot faster than 70 kilometers which is about I don't know because 100 is 60 miles per hour so it has to be half of that is 30 so or 50 I mean 
So we have the speed limit has to at least be 40, 45. And now they're finally picking up speed because I said something. But uh looks like we're about 72 miles out from where we're supposed to deliver. Uh, time remaining. 11 hours. I still got 11 hours to get there. We've been paid almost 13, 12,000 uh, euros. And yeah, it's tomatoes. Good thing my load is not too heavy. I'm not consuming that much fuel and I'm not slowing down on hill, so that's a good thing. We are probably going to stop at the um, Dijon and going to get some fuel before we actually go out on our next load because who knows when the next gas station will be or how far we're going to go. So, we'll probably fill up when we get the Dijon. A lot of cars passing the truck. Must be going too fast. It's going to be too slow for them. Oops, I want the pass. Ooh, that's not gonna happen because he slowed down in front of me. Why is he pressing on his brakes? I should have kept a distance from him, I shouldn't have rolled up on him like that. It's my fault, but he still shouldn't have braked like that. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that uh, it's actually 4.35 o'clock now. Feeling a little tired. But uh, I told myself that I was going to stay up and actually record this video. So I don't care what happens. But so this video is going to get recorded. I don't care. I don't care if I fall asleep making the video. It's still going to get made some way, somehow. One thing about Dijon is that it has like three, four, five toll booths just in a circle like of the city of Lowell. So let you guys know I'm going to be recording some uh, Battlefield 3 videos also. Maybe even a train somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I'm definitely probably going to be going a little bit away from LCPDFR a little bit. I'm still going to upload those videos, but... I'm trying to blow more of different games to make a more variety on the YouTube channel. I don't know. I like variety. I don't like having just. I don't like going on my YouTube channel and just seeing just LCPFR videos. Kind of gets a little boring just watching just LCPFR. So that's what made me so determined to actually record this video today. Once again, here we go. These people going real slow. I understand the truck is in front of you going slow, but hey, you can go around them or something. He doesn't even try and go around him. Looks like we'll be arriving here really shortly. Dijon. Why Dijon? I remember I was in middle school. I know this one guy named Dijon. And uh, those are ones tagging your pants with stuff because Soldier Boy and did it all back then. Literally, this guy, this guy had his pants sagging down to his knees. So pretty much, it pretty much looked like he was getting ready to take a shit. 
and sit down on the toilet. That's how far down his pants was. They were pretty much almost down his ankles. They were pretty much down to his ankles. Maybe a little bit below his knees. I, and then what he did is he wore extra, extra large shirts so that way you couldn't see his underwear. But I really don't understand the method to that. To me, just pull your pants up some more. You don't got to worry about buying bigger clothes. But I don't know. He went out with this. And that went out. I'm thinking he, he uh, used to always wear his pants just like that all the way down to his knees. It's ridiculous. Right, I see a nice little red flag. We're real close. Only three miles and six minutes away, so. And we just reached the city of Dijon. I'm so glad I got this truck. My old truck used to do number 55 miles per hour on the highway. And that was just crazy. Alright, let's hurry up and go and deliver this load and see what we can get next afterwards. Gonna skip the parking. I'm actually gonna back this baby up in there. See either if I can do it or if I fail. We'll see. Alright, looks like uh yeah, it looks like I'm failing really hard on trying to back this trail up in here. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, skip it. I don't really don't feel like trying to back up it's way too late. Or early in the morning for me to even be trying to back up into the dock. I don't see how real police officers, I'm um, not police officers, cleaners. Yeah, I need to go to sleep. I don't see how real truck drivers can even do it that's late. Because uh, you're just not concentrated, I guess. I can say. And, uh, we're not going all the way up there. We're gonna go to go to that ah, goodness gracious. We're going to go to Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf. Is that how you say it? I guess so. Oh, really? It's right next door. Man, 
feel like it's take forever. I'm getting 13, 30.1 gallons per 100 miles. That's horrible. Got some Euro goodies. This trailer's ours. This last one. Alright, I'm gonna hook up to this trailer really quick. Carrying package food 15 tons going to uh Delsa Dorf, however you pronounce that freaking place. It's gonna be paying 27,000 and it has to be delivered there pretty much in another day. So we're gonna go ahead and keep going. This is 21 hours. Uh, looks like it says uh, it's going to take me about nine hours to get there. And uh, according to my sleep, I should actually be able to get there because my bed is actually nowhere close to being filled up. So I think we're going to be good on that. It's so pretty much we can just go ahead and head there straight, just straight there. gonna do is we're actually gonna stop at the uh, the next rest stop hopefully it's a gas station we can get a hopefully we can get a uh, get some gas and get um, get situated turn over here pretty cool I actually uh, lose the bar if yeah, you pretty much moves the information center around it's like how you would in real life it's pretty cool but uh, if you guys don't already know I think I said in my last video but I'm gonna say it again that I joined the uh, GTA 4 clan called GMAG uh, GTA 4 Mobile Alabama clan. I'll be uploading some videos from there also. Uploaded actually once a day. We actually got some pretty good calls. Um, but uh, I'm in a probationary YouTube contract with the clan right now. Which pretty much means that uh, I have to send in any videos that uh, I want to. First, pretty much I got to send in the videos to the chief or have a deputy chief look at before I can actually. Uh, take them off unlisting and actually make them public so pretty much I'm just waiting for the review from the admins and uh, they give me okay pretty much I'll make it public as soon as they tell me okay basically but uh, I know like how if you guys fall asleep in this game you start dozing off but uh instead of it being a game I think it's actually real life that's making me doze off Got two, 326 more miles 
eight hours and 27 more minutes to go uh what i need to do i think i actually need to add some music to this game so that way i can have my own music playing in the background not the little whatever music that air truck simulator actually puts in here it's freaking ridiculous that's my uh, air horn you guys realize i'm making sharp really sharp not really sharp turns but sharp turns around the corners where we uh I don't know, it's, that's just me. I usually can take them pretty fast, so I say, why not? You save extra gas and fuel because you coast and you never have the pressure you get brakes. Doze off a little bit there. Hey, why is everybody doing like 80 miles per hour on the highway? So that's not even the freaking speed limit. Goodness gracious. Let's stay limited down just for police officers like Ohio does. I don't know if you guys know, but Ohio hates truck drivers. I don't know why, but the state law is 65 degrees, or 6 degrees. Goodness gracious. I really need to go to sleep. 65 uh, miles per hour for the city, but then it says truck speed limit is 55. So they mark down. Either some a lot of bad accidents happen in Ohio. Something in Ohio happened to the point to where they made it so trucks have to drive 10 less lower than what the posted averages that's uh ridiculous but same time same time i mean it's their their decision so it really doesn't matter as long as it doesn't affect anything i'm pretty much fine with it all right look like there's a uh, rest station slash gas station up here I'm going to stop at that. Gracious, diesel price is 5.45. That's a lot of money. It's gonna cost like a thousand dollars to fill up, and it wasn't even all the way empty. It wasn't even a, it was barely a half a tank. I think it was a little bit more than half a tank. Anyway, we're gonna go and go up here and uh, go on to the rest area. YouTube, but uh, I'm going to stop right here. I'm gonna save my game and wow, that car is flying onto the highway. But uh, at the end over there at the gas station, I was trying to hurry up and rush in here because I literally am dozing off as we speak. I'm gonna go hit the bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. If you want me to do some more Euro Truck Simulator videos, what you want me to do in the videos, any mod they want to put in, anything like that. Even if you want me to play another game. If you want me to play it, trust me, I'll go out and buy it, and I'll make a video on YouTube just for you guys. So if you guys want me to do a certain uh, video, just let me know. But uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Wiggle, wiggle. Like.